Confusion as government delays go ahead for Hinkley Point nuclear plant. Confusion surrounds a government decision to delay the go ahead for Britain's first nuclear power station in a generation. Immediately after the French government owned energy company EDF gave a vote of confidence in Brexit Britain and agreed to push ahead with the project at Hinkley Point, New Energy and Business Secretary Greg Clark announced a rethink. It is understood that the costs of the project in Somerset, touted at £18 billion, could rise to as much as £29 billion. Critics believe the government has been stung by criticism of the amount of money EDF will be paid for generating power from Hinkley, £92.50 per megawatt hour of electricity generated. However, a senior advisor to the new Prime Minister Theresa May has also in the past been a critic of the Chinese involvement in the project. State-owned China General Nuclear Power CGN, Corporation was brought in as an investor by former Chancellor George Osborne who was sacked by Mrs May in a night of long knives in her first evening in Downing Street. Mrs May's new chief of staff Nick Timothy has previously condemned Chinese involvement in the UK's nuclear sector. The influential aide wrote on the Conservative Home website in October 2015 that it was baffling that the government would allow Chinese state firms to invest in sensitive infrastructure. Mr Timothy wrote that rational concerns about national security are being swept to one side because of the desperate desire for Chinese trade and investment. He suggested security experts were worried the Chinese could build weaknesses into computer systems that would allow them to shut down Britain's energy production at will and argued against giving a hostile state access to the UK's critical infrastructure. In response to the shocked reaction to the delay, a source said Theresa May and François Holland had discussed the deal during the Prime Minister's visit to Paris last week. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.